Hello, um, I recently bought this PlayStation 2 off of a friend uh, and it does have a mod chip in it. I would like to find out which one, so I thought I would open it up. Uh, I recently borrowed this GoPro camera from a friend while I was going biking, so I thought I would uh, take the opportunity to use that to record this. So, I've taken a little peek here on the side and it seems like there are four main screw holes. You can see those there, 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 and there. So let's have a quick look see. Uh, I'll use a flat blade, a very small flat blade screwdriver to open it up. I don't know if you can see that, but somebody has already opened it up, obviously. So. Obviously, don't have a tripod for this little thing. Well, these are quite easy to remove, thankfully. Uh, looks like uh, uh, what is that? Just a star. What do you call those? Star screws? Not Phillips screws. Just. Oh, wow, that's the wrong one. wonder if that's a standard size. Now, I don't know. Is that a good view? Yeah, that looks good. Find the mess. Let's see. I've removed the rear cover, by the way. Oh dear. It still seems firmly attached to the uh, well, I think I think it's supposed to pop out on the rear side, but it seems you know, it's that family touch still. Hmm. Could there be screws under here, do you think? It does seem very firmly attached. This doesn't trip. I suspect there's gonna be something under these rubber slippers. It does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Secret screws. This is going to be a pain. <laughs> look at that. That doesn't look like any fun. Can you just lift it straight out of the box? Okay, well the first thing here is I see a clip, maybe you can't see that. 
there. That holds the CD ROM in place. That should be easy to pop out. Okay, that's loosened up. Now, see so, you another know, screw there, probably locking it down, and these two. So let's give those a go. Get my second handy dandy screw container. Oh. Another lock here. Oh, come on, yeah, there we go. Let's see how things sort of attached. They're really utilizing all of the space in this thing, aren't they? Okay, I see a mistake I've made. I hope this doesn't fall out. There are still two more. Screws underneath these, I saw it from the inside. Okay, well, that's a good thing to note if you're doing this again. This should lift out the whole chassis, I think. So maybe. Um, disconnecting the CD-ROM drive was uh, superfluous. There we go. Okay, flip this over again. Give it another go. Okay, there we go. You are free! Okay, you can see the power supply in the back. Watch that. Ribbon cable. And we might be able to ah, remove the CD unit again. Oops. It's still attached in the uh, bottom right corner but I can't really see how compared to the PlayStation 1. I accidentally loosened this ribbon cable, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem to put back. So, I still can't see where it's locked down. Oh, this is a bastard, isn't it? Because I bet the mud chip is underneath the power supply. 
not the top. So maybe it's a waste of time to remove the CD unit, but maybe not. Tricky, tricky, tricky. I really don't want to break that ribbon cable. I'm going to uh, disconnect that. There's a smart lock thing. No. with the power supply instead see if we can take a look underneath it this really looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass big cap there probably don't want to touch that even though the system isn't connected to the mains It has a sort of Saturn like, um, I guess the original PlayStation had that as well. Um, interlock where uh, the rails go. That's, we should probably be able to just lift that up. Yeah. Yay! More chassis. All the excitement. Bummer. Okay, well. Yet another pointless thing to remove. So is that just uh, in place? Yeah, okay, so that's screwed in place by the power supply. I'm gonna put that back actually. Don't see any point. Or do I? Does that help me getting to the motherboard? Do I have to remove the bottom chassis? Who knows? Does that help me get access to the CD-ROM drive again? Probably not, but let's have a look. No, I still can't see what's keeping it in place. There is a third interlock. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I was just going to say the third interlock is not connected, but... Okay, that's promising. There are three connected flex ribbon cables underneath. Actually four, but you see them. So... Uh, Better go ahead and remove those, but as you can see, there aren't any screws on the top, so I guess you have to remove them from the bottom. Hmm, do we want to? Which side do we want to access? Hmm. 
Yeah, you can see there. There's a metal enclosure on both sides. I can see some uh, solder joints under there. You can't see it. Sorry about the focusing not being accurate. Um, I think we have to remove the bottom. So. I am going to put the seam back. I seem necessary to remove it. Carefully pop this back into place. It's just a bit of a plastic nightmare that's keeping the Keeping it locked in there on the bottom line. Right. Okay, that should be back in place. Turn this thing around again. Alright, and we have these million screws to uh, get rid of. Oh, what a pain. And this battery is running out in a bit as well. But, let's keep going. Ah, oh. screwdrivers, screwdrivers, where are my tools, lost my tools, shit, oh there we go, mm system tomorrow, I'll tell you that right now. But it is a very compact design. Mm -hmm. Gotta give it that. still firmly attached. It's fucking with me at this point. Ah, uh, that comes back to the clips. take the whole thing apart to actually do anything productive. That's a royal pain. There is some progress. Yeah. 
huh? Oh, that's a pain too. Let's see the um, the fan connector goes through here. I should probably. Oh, those are really tiny wires. Don't wanna. Don't wanna fuck that up, do we? Oh, that's scary. How do we lift that out? I don't really wanna pull the wires. They're so small. No. Need a better grip. <laughs> this is so not designed to get removed. Smallest screwdriver. Come on, bud. Uh, don't know if I dare remove that. Promising, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that mod. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't want to mod your PlayStation 2. What a pain. Jesus. Okay. Well, here we go. What chip is it? Uh, beautiful wiring, though. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, there's an ASIC on there and some memory. I recognize the chip from some online store that I checked out. What is that? Um, let me use my internet skills. Certainly looks like a DMS3, doesn't it? Let's have a look at this picture. Ah, yeah, stupid historical intertubes. Definitely looks like. The same thing, doesn't it? But I want a better picture though. High resolution picture, please. Please. I did say high resolution, but that'll do. 
Let me see, what ASIC is that? That's uh APA zero seven five F T zero one one T zero one zero zero T zero one zero zero. You can see how much memory it has? No. It it's the same chip though. Certainly the same chip. Although it doesn't quite have the same. This one says V8, that one has a plus on it. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. That has uh, tamed my curiosity, I can. Uh, do more stuff later. Oh, let's have a high resolution picture of this. 